What's up guys, it's King Josh back with another video and today I'm gonna to show you guys my new build. So I have not made a new build in about three months I think. Last time I made a new build, it was my rebounding wing build. I think I made it in February, but anyway, today I'm gonna to show you guys this new build and this build is super fun to use. We are gonna go with small forward. As you guys know, I love using small forwards and I go left-handed just because I'm left-handed in real life and you know, number seven is my favorite number. So for this build, you do wanna actually choose the top pie chart. This pure slasher build is so fun. I haven't used it that much in park but I've been grinding my badges over the past week and you guys will see the badges later in the video anyway for the physical profile you could choose the top one or you could choose this one right here with a lot of vertical you could choose one of those two I chose the one with 80 speed and 90 vertical because it does boost the vertical by 13 and then the speed and acceleration only drop by three or four let's get right into the attributes on this build so for every build I make I do max out the shooting just so it can shoot really well so for this build I maxed out everything on shooting and actually dropped my free throw by one just so I could keep 10 shooting badges for the playmaking you want to max the ball control and pass accuracy to get nine playmaking badges for the defense I wanted to be able to guard big so I upgraded everything on defense except for steel I only put it up by one as you guys can see putting it up by one does get me my 10th defensive badge and now finishing let's save the best for last you do want to max out your driving layup and driving dunk and I wanted to put my standing dunk as high as possible, but I wanted 17 finishing, so I did put my close shot up by two, and then I put the rest of my standing dunk. So as you can see by the badge layout, we have 17 finishing, 10 shooting, nine playmaking, and 10 defense. So for the height on this build, I decided to go with six foot eight, because my rebounding wing is six foot eight, and this build can get pro drip moves at 99 overall the way I made it. I wanted to also max out my weight. If you do wanna run the two on this build, like if you're running threes in park, if you do wanna run the two, you don't need to upgrade your interior defense and you don't wanna go max weight, but I went max weight just so my interior defense goes as high as possible. And because this build, it can shoot, believe it or not, it has a 49.3, it can shoot, but I decided to go max wingspan just so I can get better dunks, I can play better defense. And then for the takeover, I was thinking about choosing playmaker takeover, but I ended up going with slasher takeover. I feel like that's the best for this build. But anyway, let's get right into the badges. I'm gonna show you guys all the badges I have right now and the badges that I want on this build when I max the build out. Getting right into the badges, I do want contact finisher hall of fame 100%. That's the best finishing badge. Then I think I'm gonna do slithery finisher hall of fame. I'm fine without it on my rebounding wing, but it is a really good badge. Then I did lob city finisher hall of fame, believe it or not. I actually wanted to do that because I wanna spam lobs on this build. I made this build more so for fun and then I put fancy forward bronze and giant slayer bronze I might change up my finishing badges do a combination of giant slayer and acrobat something like that But anyway getting into the shooting badges on my rebounding wing with 10 shooting badges I use catch and shoot bronze quick draw gold range extender bronze hot zone hunter gold and volume shooter silver I used to use corner specialist silver and I think I'm actually gonna use that for the slasher build I'm really only gonna be shooting from the corner, but believe it or not this build can't shoot So I don't need range extender since I'm gonna be shooting from the corner and I'm either gonna run catch and shoot gold and corner specialist bronze or both of them silver. I'm just gonna try out a different combination of that. But these are the badges that I'm gonna run for shooting. For the playmaking, I'm still not 100% sure, but I know for sure that I want bailout bronze and I want quick first step gold. Those are the two for sure badges that I'm gonna do. Then I also wanna do handles for days, gold. I might even drop it down to silver to get Lob City Passer. And then unpluckable is either gonna be gold or silver. Those are the badges I'm gonna change. I really don't know exactly how I'm gonna do it, but it's gonna be something like this. And now going out to the defensive badges, when I wanna be at the two when I'm guarding guards, I want clamps, gold, Pogo Stick Silver, Intimidator Gold, and then the other two badges, probably Rim Protector and Chase Darn Artist, I think. But then when I am at the big, I'm not gonna need clamps. I'm gonna put that on moving truck so I don't get bodied. And then I don't need Rim Protector, and I can lower Intimidator to Silver. It's actually really good at Silver still. I don't need Rim Protector, like I said before. I'm gonna put that on Box and Rebound Chaser. So I don't really know the badge setup 100%, but once I do max out this build, get it to 99 overall, get all my badges, I'll show you guys more in depth on the build. As of now, I'm an 81 overall, but if I did have the VC to upgrade, I could get to a 90 overall. I just wanna get to a higher overall because as you can see, my physicals are not too great. I don't have high vertical right now. My speed is low, my acceleration is low, and my strength, I don't really care about that as much, but it is also low. Once I do hit 99, I'll show you guys all my dribble moves, all my badges, all my attributes, all that stuff. I'll do a much more in-depth video on this build, and I'll also show you guys some gameplay. I'm gonna start doing a lot more gameplays with this build because my rebounding wing is fun, and I still wanna use that too, but this build gets contact dunks so much more than my rebounding wing and it has slash to take over so that is definitely gonna be fun for future videos i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you guys have any questions about the build make sure to leave a comment down below drop a like if you enjoyed subscribe to the channel if you're new it's been king josh and i'm out peace